Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting via a kind suggestion to Karen Morgan telling us why 70s kids are the strongest generation. Let's see what she has to say. Did I forget anybody? Who did I forget? X. X, yes! Actually, I didn't forget X. It's a little trick. Oh, because generation I was X? born the first year of Gen X or the last year of Gen Jones, depending on which chart you Gen look Jones. at. But everyone forgets Gen X. Even CBS News forgot Gen X last year. They did this whole thing on all the generations. They did silent generation, boomers, and then they skipped over 65 million of us Jan Bradys, and then they went right Jan down Brady's. to the millennials and the post-millennials. But here's all y'all need to know about Gen Xers. We don't care. <laughs> We don't care. In fact, we kind of like it that you left us off your little list, CBS News, because we're like the secret dive bar that only the locals know about. I love that. I love that. I can only guess that someone suggested I watch this because they know they watch my channel enough to know how much I love the 70s. And I wish I were a kid of the 70s. Like, I, there's something, there's something magical. Also, her pants are super magical. Um, but I love that because I do feel like Gen X is just perfectly far removed from the nonsense of social media and the need for fame and things and, you know, all that the world has turned into. They are like pish posh. Be gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? We had our time. Our time was great. Y'all can have that. We're over here minding our business. Like it's it's so true. Um, so I love that she said that. Let's keep going. We don't advertise, but we're never going out of business. Right. Now, the boomers, and particularly the Gen Jonesers and the what Gen Xers, Gen we share some things in never common. The first one. thing is we are strong people. We didn't need sunscreen. <laughs> Seat belts. We just laid out on giant sheets of aluminum foil. That's baby crazy. oil and iodine. Iodine. That's crazy. Right. Hawaiian Tropic Red Label. <laughs> we put our chairs up on the roof to get higher to the sun. <laughs> that is nuts. We only turned over when the radio station told us to. Nobody <laughs> care. We grew up in the way, way back seat of our mom's station wagon, rear facing at the people behind us. I was just telling my husband, like I saw a, I guess it was a meme on Instagram of a child in the front seat and they had like one of those, it was like a leash, you know, the like harness leashes that you put on, it's like a kid leash and it was strapped to the front seat. So the child was standing, like there was enough tension for the child to sit and stand. And the child was standing, looking out of the window of this old school car and the picture was in like black and white. It was like sepia was the filter. And I literally, I don't know how the conversation came up, but I said, do you know back in the day kids we're like, I've seen a picture of that and I've seen a picture of like the bar, almost like the swing at a carnival, the swing ride where you sit in the swings and your feet dangle and you go up and you just go around like that kind of strapped in mechanism. I've seen those kind of car seats. They're like metal. And I'm just like, car, ch child car safety has come a long way. And I guess this is the generation maybe where it was birthed because she's like, I remember being a kid and being in the back of my aunt and uncle's uh, station wagon. I think it was against the law at that point. I don't think we should have been doing it. Like maybe the 70s kids, there were no like child safety laws. But <laughs> I love my aunt and uncle. They're my favorite people on the planet. Um, but yeah, that just made me think of that meme. Is it, Please confirm if that's true or false. If you are a child of the 70s, a parent of the 70s, I don't know. Let me know if that if those two mechanisms were what was used for child safety. I get cars were built differently. They didn't do as many things and go as fast back then. So I understand that I just like it threw me for a loop to see a child on a leash in the front seat, standing up, looking out the window while the car was in motion. Way, way back seat of our mom's station wagon, rear facing at the people behind us, right? Just waving back there. Just <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wore a seatbelt. Not even in the front seat. If your mom's arm wasn't strong enough, you deserve to go through the windshield. <laughs> I grew up with a mom who always put her arm in front of me if she thought there were any type of danger coming our way. A brake light, a banana peel. That arm, honey, was stretching far across me, okay? <laughs> but 
We didn't have helicopter parents back then. In fact, we had the opposite of helicopter parents. We had Home Depot parents. What are Home Depot parents? Where you parents? think there should be someone working in the store that could help you. But there isn't. But there's no one around. You're on your own. This is Home Depot. Do you need a skill saw? That's so Well, there's true. only one left in the whole store, and it's way up there. So grab yourself one of those rolling staircases, my friend. <laughs> Roll it over there. Crawl, and don't pull it over on yourself and cut your arm off, because nobody's going to take you to the hospital. It's gonna okay, I was definitely raised by a 70s kid. This is wild. Like, this is so wild to think about. It's so true. My mom was born in 65, and so that makes her a kid in the 70s. And I'm like, no, literally, this is this is what it's like. Like, fend for yourself and figure it out. And I, I lend it towards me being the person I am today. I, I You know what I mean? But this whole, and no one's going to take you to the hospital. You guys, I have a scar on my leg that is probably the length of, like, the side of this, literally, on my leg to this day. It's keloided up. I, like, my mom was a dance teacher. She still teaches dance. And I was there and in a room off somewhere and jumped off of a chair. And the chair had a metal, like, something. And I split my um, leg open. Split my leg open to the white meat. Went to my mom and she was like, put a Band-Aid on it. <laughs> Can't you not? The white meat was spilling out of my thing. And my mom put a Band-Aid on it. So till this day, I have to tell the story of how I got this long keloided scar on my leg. I was raised by a child of the 70s. There needs to be a video of this from the child point of view of the, the, you know what I'm saying? From my point of view, the millennial point of view, all of us millennials are raised by the same people, which is why we are the way we are these days. It's going to be your fault that you got hurt. Yeah. Here's what you get. Suck it up. Yup. Yeah. Blow on it. Yup. Yeah. Walk, Walk it off. Yup. Yeah. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. <laughs> Bleed over the sink. My mom's favorite was don't bleed on my shag carpet. Yeah, don't bleed on my stuff. This is my childhood. I had a guy send me one the other day. It was like, let the dog lick it. It'll heal faster. Ew. 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 Nobody cared if we were bored. Nobody cared what our grades were. <gasps> Nobody cared that we were eating lunch out of a lunchbox filled with unrefrigerated dairy products and rust. Yikes. Who had a rusty lunchbox? Yeah, this generation yeah, is indestructible. We're all still here. Indestructible. And the thermoses didn't match because the first one, like, the one that came with it got shattered. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Nobody cared that we were being pummeled in the face by real red rubber dodgeballs. <laughs> they don't even play dodgeball in school anymore. Not allowed. The real red, the, the ones that smelled the, like rubber yeah, coming at you. Yeah, pong off your face. Not the little foamy baby ones they have now. The real red, it went twang when it hit you in the face. <laughs> And it left a crosshatch print right it on your did. forehead. I grew up with those. This is, she's really good. And this is really just comedy from experience. That's simple and plain. She's just telling her life story with great beats in between. This is right so there. good. Nobody cared. No one cared at all. Nobody cared about the emotional trauma that we sustained because of sea monkeys. Who had sea monkeys? I'm still not over sea monkeys. For I real? I paid my dollar twenty-five out of the back of that comic book. I was supposed to get the whole sea monkey family: the mama sea monkey and the daddy sea monkey and junior sea monkey, and little baby sea monkey. They lived in a castle. I love and they were going to come live action. with little me, and I was supposed to be able monkey? to teach them tricks. That's not what we got. What? We got three envelopes in the mail filled with disappointment, deceit. A dehydrated brine shrimp. No. No one cared. No one cared that that woman on Romper Room never said my name. What? What's Romper Room? This is so good. Never said my name in her stupid magic mirror, even though all day I was trying to walk on the Romper Stompers. Just two upside down plastic cups on a string. Just 
What? <laughs> Your ankle right off. They weren't as dangerous, though, as metal roller skates. No. So the metal roller skates, they kind of... 70s kids, are y'all okay? I mean, uh, how did you make it out alive? <laughs> what? This might be why I love the 70s so much, because it just feels like, nah, we're, we lived, nah. as long as you wake up in the morning. <laughs> kind of clamp to your shoe like this, right? You, you didn't get hurt because you were going fast, because you couldn't go fast because of the, the friction of the metal on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> the sound that the made, third one oh, in. what? <laughs> your shoe came right out of that thing. But you fell because it was still attached to your ankle with a little back. Oh, are these the ones that like you you just put your foot with the shoe in it and then like strap it around? Is that what we're talking about? I see I feel like they still have those at skating rings for young, 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 young kids, but they're like plastic, they're not metal. Y'all were going through it in the 70s. Jesus. But you fell because it was still attached to your ankle with a little belt. Yeah. With like so the class you tripped thing over like... it and fell and broke your bottom. That was it. Oh my gosh. Nobody cared. She's funny. That was great. I'm going to ask you one more time. Children of the 70s, blink twice. Are y'all okay? <laughs> That's crazy. I learned so much. I need to go do some Googling about romper stompers and uh, all the other things she was talking about. Let me know about the memes that I mentioned and go and have the day you deserve. Love you. Mean it. Bye.